Hello again YouTube. I have a lot to talk about. I have the longest experience at MEPS and um, I have a lot to go through. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. Let's start off with the ASVAB. A lot of people that go in gotta go to the military uh, processing center, MEPS. Everybody who basically got done talking to their recruiter end up picking a day to go down there and actually test for your ASVAB. You get tested on different areas. You have your electrical or knowledge, paragraph, something, something. I'll put that list too. You take it for about three hours and it is a long, long test. Depending on your branch, uh, you actually have to um, take other tests as well. After I was done with taking those, uh, the tests and stuff, they give me a score and it's your AFQT score, which is basically like a percentile. So you'll get a number, it's literally zero through 99. And a lot of people that take the test, they think that like the score, getting hot here, I'm gonna take this out. Ugh. The score uh, reflects your actual overall score, which is not really that important. What's important is that you get your uh, line scores um, once you get it from your um, recruiter. Um, when you leave MEPS that day, they actually give you your a, uh, AFQT score and then you will have to see your recruiter for the actual line scores and there's no other way you can actually look that up. Meet up with your recruiter and he'll show you your scores based off of each category of the test that you ranked or scored at basically. Depending on your branch, you have to get a minimum number to actually pass like for your AFQT. For the Air Force, it was a 38 minimum, I believe. If it's wrong, then please correct me in the comments, but I believe it's 38 percentage of that uh, exam. So um, you do that uh, and if you pass, then good job. Because I know I had, my score was, it was passing the first time, but it was really low. <laughs> my uh, AFQT was like about um, one, it was a 40 <laughs> and that's bad and I haven't took a lot of that uh, material or took the classes for that material in a long time so I was advised to actually go back and study and I took this in December um, my first time at MEPS and I didn't do horrible horrible but again if you didn't see my last video I had a waiver pending and I also mentioned it um, where I had to get my score up my uh, the commander of my recruiter wanted me to um, uh, actually score a little higher before he actually reconsidered my waiver. So that also helped me as well if you are processing through a waiver and stuff. Um, but I did that. I had to take it over again. I didn't. I wasn't proud of the score, so I had to go back and study. Um, a lot of people have questions on what to study. Basically, you got like a book, a book. There's many like ASVAB practice books. Um, the one I got is right here. Um, I took that one. I uh, basically was studying it for like a month, a couple weeks actually. And um, I went in and I did a lot of study and I went over a lot of mechanical, electrical, a lot of stuff I just don't know. I was practicing and it's important because you don't want to go in there, think of you can do it off the top of your head. That's not a good idea. You will end up probably regretting it and you want to do your best because this is like your life decision. So. I had to take it a second time. I took it last month in January, or it's March now, so two months ago. Took it two months ago in January, the second time, and I got a little higher for the percentile. It was a 48. I don't remember my line scores for the first and second time, but I do know that they were a hell of a lot better than um, what I had before. And a lot of people that take it are just now getting out of high school. So it is um, more easier for a lot of high schoolers, I guess, because they do, you guys went over the material while you were in school, or at least like review, especially like the math and stuff. It's been a while since I actually did math. So I've been in college for a couple of years, but you probably want to touch up on that and brush up on that if you're in college. I finally got to do my day, my day two. Technically for me, I mentioned before, this was my day three, but most people that do these whole processes, it, it take two days. As you guys know, I just went through MEPS this week. It was so long. <sighs> I did so much. Like I had to get up at 500. I left around 500 to 1400 and it was a long day. Getting up five o'clock in the morning and then literally leaving at like two o'clock 
when technically most people left at like five, um, it was a long day. But basically, the start of MEPS day two, um, we had got, um, I met up with my recruiter the day before. Um, and I had to get permission to get on base, which a lot of people have to do first. Wednesday night, I met up with my recruiter. Literally, I got drove into the hotel that same day, a day before MEPS. The process was really pretty cool, actually. I ended up going to the desk. They they told me to go to the um, a certain floor to meet up with your uh, liaison, and it's a private room in the hotel. Talk to your liaison, they brief you, and they'll have you watch a video, give you, you know, the rundown of the hotel and how the next day is gonna go at MEPS. Lounge was pretty cool. Like, you got a whole, like, private lounge. There's gonna be plenty of people coming in and out. I like they have video games, laptops, tablets and stuff. We had to meet at uh, 2030. Got briefed on that. We basically had a lot of free time and we just had to wait. You don't want to stay up too late. Um, that's my advice to you guys because you do have to get up super early the next day for MEPS and I'm telling you it was going to be a long day. But you got the whole day uh, before to actually relax and do whatever. I wouldn't recommend doing a lot of stuff. I personally like to go to the gym but if you, before you go to MEPS, there's certain things you do not want to bring and do before you go. I do a lot of pre-workouts and post-workout drinks, proteins, supplements. Not something you really want to do before you go because you're going to be doing a lot of blood work and stuff. And you don't really want to mess that up. So I'm going to give that whole rundown to you guys in this video. So, the morning of MEPS, you got to get up 5 o'clock in the morning. I do have roommates too. Uh, most people do when you do... Uh, go into the hotel. Everybody that met up the day before MEPS have to meet again at uh, 5 in the morning. Basically the whole day is a lot of running around. <laughs> 5 o'clock, go down in the lobby. There was a guy waiting, standing right in front of the elevator and said, um, if you're going to MEPS, line up. Uh, I want to say a lot of the guys that's going to transport you to MEPS are, they're going to try to like scare you or intimidate you because that's just how the system works. They'll uh, be a little aggressive, but that's, you got to try to stick through that because that's all part of the process and try to psych people out of the process, uh, which they did plenty of times uh, yesterday when I went go where they tell you we had breakfast at the hotel before we went um little after six it was a short breakfast had fridays you didn't really want to drink i would tell our recruiter you don't want to drink orange juice because it kind of spikes your blood sugar and you didn't want to have salt or anything before alcohol especially do not have before you go to meps if you allow to drink um because like i said you're doing a lot of testing all day fast forward you go into maps on the bus or driving there they'll go over and brief you what you can and cannot bring um you go to the door go through the uh screening uh they check your bags tell you to pull all your bags in the uh the room to lock up you basically get a uh, fingerprinted you got to get all your paperwork and stuff this is where you have to actually get briefed on everything how the day is going to go for you the rundown is you got to get a physical got to do a lot of medical stuff a lot of fingerprinting a lot of signing and later in the day you do got lunch they had a lot of people running all over the place they're really strict the test Let's start off with the medical test. They are going to check everything for you. I'm not sure how the process is for the ladies, but it's pretty similar. Uh, but for the guys, they keep you in a room, tell you what room to go to, and you go there, we do whatever they say. So I wanna say for the first medical, I had the um, hearing, the hearing test. It was kind of weird. I walk into a room, I had got put into like a shed type thing. They're facing the wall, we we're facing the wall, and there were other chairs in the room. It's basically to test your hearing. You put the headphones on and you have to react to, you have to react to sounds. Every time you hear a sound, the, the same time you hear a sound or the moment you hear a sound, um, you have to press this button that would be in the room. And that will, I guess, uh, test your reaction. And it's literally very crazy. Like you will sit with the headphones and some of the noises will be really faint. And you try to like listen to it, but you don't know if you're like thinking it or whatever. But um, you press it anyways. I don't know. <laughs> After you do that, you have to do your sight or your vision test. They have a chart, uh, got numbers on it, and it's different colors. And it, I guess it's a test to see if you're colorblind, if you can read the numbers off this little booklet or chart. Um, you also got to read lines. You They basically ask you how far you go or can read off um, what line you can read off of. And you want to try to go your highest for that and try to read the lines as best you can. They had like a depth perception depth perception test. They give you like circles 
and you have to see what circle is closer up than the other circles. You have to pick out which circle is different from the other circle. Um, just to test to see how far and you know how your depth perception is of things because that also determines your job too. 